Hello everyone I would like to present my application for a moment. It is an application for designing and calculating material handling tasks with conveyor belts. The app is called Rock Conveyor Engineering, which all of you can download in the Play Store through Android devices. 1. The first part is the help page. This page contains explanations as well as the terminology used in the application, with images that are easy to understand. There are instructions for use as mentioned in detail. 2. The second part is a tool to design the structure used to hold the roller assembly. User can specify various values so that the application can easily calculate clamping distances of different roller assemblies. 3. The third part will be a unit conversion tool. This section allows users from all over the world to convert them without fail to add values to add to their applications. This reduces the number of steps and complications associated with various units. 4. The most important part is the receiving section or the main window. This window accepts multiple values that the user needs to provide, from top to bottom. Let me give you an example of the filling method of a conveyor belt as follows. First, the operator has to select the conveyor configuration with the tail point and head point respectively. After that a field for receiving values will appear. User must fill in all of these values. Then enter to select or define the material to be transported. Users can choose from a list of materials in the application's standard database or fill them up manually. And must specify the pile angle of the material as well as the maximized value of the material. And completely identify the behavior of the ingredients on the conveyor belt. The app will show the conveyor width values for the user to consider. The user must select a belt width that is wider or equal to the instructions. The user then needs to add the material conveying rate, characterize the conveyor roller set, set the material conveying speed. The application will then show the user a value if the value is appropriate. The optimum transfer rate must be in the range of 60% to 90%. Subsequently. The user has to add the distance of the conveyor roller. At this stage, the user can choose to have the application set this configuration automatically. When all values are filled, the user will automatically find four values displayed. And it is an important value that leads to the numbers to be added in the next step. User must select a new window to memorize important numbers to add to the next item. When a user finds a red number, remember it and add it to the main window. Then set the eccentric or assembly quality value. Next, set the roller height, which can be customized or let the application set it automatically. But in some cases, if the application cannot be determined, it will display a warning message to the user and the user has to specify it himself. Next is the selection of the frequency of roller bearing maintenance and the sizing of the head pulleys and tail pulleys. As well as the different types of rubber encapsulation to increase the coefficient of friction. It then selects the angle at which the belt is in contact with the drive pulley. And specify the number of pulleys on the tension belt side slack belt side and the pulley used to change the direction of the belt. Next, we identify the spill barrier and select the friction value. At this point, if this section is not there, you can skip it by selecting an option in the checkbox. The next step is to fill in the number of equipment used to clean the belt, which the user must specify in the number of pieces if there is no equipment, add the number 0 to it. The user is then required to fill the height value from the point where the material has fallen on the conveyor belt and determine the fall nature from the standard table in the application. Then comes the motor and gearbox selection section, as well as the working hours per day, and list all the factors from the standard list. 
then select a material value that is special to match the material designed, which at this stage if it doesn't match, you can skip it. The next step is to select the allowable slack between the roller assemblies, which according to the standard ranges from 1.5% to 3%, and configure the safety factor. The final step is to select the belt type and abdominal position. When you are confident that you have filled all the values correctly, you can press Calculate.